Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on searching for emails. So today we're going to be talking about email, and a thing that a lot of people want to do a lot is find a certain specific email. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and um, we get this a lot with people, oh, you can search your email on your iPhone or your iPad. A lot yeah. of people know on your computer, because when you open the mail program, the little search it's always up field there. is just sitting there. Right. Now I'm going to go, I'm in my mail program here, I'm going to go into my inbox. And you're like, what? Well, how do how I, search? I search? I don't see any right. magnifying glass or anything, but look, swipe, swipe down. down, there's They're your search hiding field. It. I don't know why they do that. I don't either. <laughs> That's probably the biggest tip that we're going to give in this tech bit, right? right? Exactly. Where <laughs> I think a lot of people it. think that you can't search mail on right. your phone or your iPad because right. it's hidden. Right. So um, now that I have it down. Uh, you're going to search just like you would do any other search, and I'm going to tap in the field. And what you can do is you can type in a, a name right. so or a full name, a partial name, a title, an whatever. An email address, a word a from word. the email. Right. Let's so look I'm going to. What? Should we look for something from Yeah, Beverly? I'm going to start with one of our clients. So I'm going to type in B E, and you can see these are the search results right. that it brings up. And what it does. Um, First, is it that you can see this people. What it's doing is it's searching my contacts or other places that people are listed, and it's listing all the people with a B-E in their name. Right. And the star by someone's name means that it's right. a VIP person. Then if I scroll down a little bit more, then it says subjects. Now it's finding all the B-E in a subject. That are in a subject matter. Right. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my Beverly. All right. Now it's searching all the emails from Beverly Zaney. Right. And what's happening here, another thing that we should, we'll should we take a look at is you might say, well, I know I have more emails from Beverly. Well, here's what's going on. If we swipe down, again, hidden underneath hidden. this, sneaky, sneaky Apple, <laughs> is all mailboxes or current ma in mailbox, which we're right. in the inbox right now. Right. So this email is in the inbox, but if I want to see all of them, I can tap on right. all. And, and you're like, oh, oh, look at all those emails. Up. There they all are. <laughs> so that's... And um, you can see this bar going across the top. That's telling you that it's working, right. checking around. It's still checking. It's still as looking. As this little thing is spinning, which right. a lot of people are used to seeing that spin. Right. And the bar is almost all the way over. It's still, it's doing a real deep search. And when the bar disappears, it's completely done. So now we know these are all the emails we have from Beverly Zaney. So with these, all uh, you can search all, and that's including the trash. Right. Or the current. So when would you use uh, searching a current mailbox? Well, let's say that, um, Karen, you and I email each other a lot for business, but we also email each other personally. And let's say I only want to find things from work for you. I might go into our Sync Sisters right. inbox okay. and search just in that current mailbox to right. find things that pertain to work. So if you know you want to search a certain folder or inbox right. or mailbox, right. you want to start off from that point, so right. it becomes the current mailbox. Right, so it's either an inbox that you that's created by your email account, right. or it's a mailbox that you've created, which actually is a folder, really, right. that you're using to organize. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, and you can check out our tech bit on getting control of your email, Organize It, part one, which talks all mm -hmm. about organizing your email. Okay, so I put it back to all the mailboxes, just so we have more emails up to show you are um, more advanced features, or uh, well, actually, we were going to talk about threads. Well, we'll talk about threads in a minute, but look at, what we're going to do now is we're going to say, well, okay, I'm going to tap on Beverly's name, and we're going to get yet another sub box come up, because mm -hmm. this is from Beverly. We could also do to Beverly, or any message, that ah. any part of the message <clears throat> that contains Beverly's name. Now, this is what you can do on your Mac that you have not been able to do on iOS right, until, until recently. iOS 9. Right, right. Is once you've found all the emails by a person, you can say that they're to that person or from that person. Because right. you might remember it's an email she sent me or an email I right. sent her. Right, wait, I did send her that email, didn't I? So you just want to do the two to mm -hmm. see, yep, I did send that So that's that new. One. And again, it's a little hidden. Right, it is a little hidden. You have to <laughs> scroll up to find it. You have, no, is... you have to tap on her name. Yeah, tap on her name. Sorry. Yep, right. Yep, you just like scroll right. down or tap on the name, you're going to find it. So that's kind of nice. Or in the message, so you can, you can do if it If her anyway. name is in the message. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So now let's take a look at, um, we're going to take a look at mail threads. Because what's come up here 
if you notice, under um, the searching that it's done for Beverly, is, do you see here the double arrowhead yep. versus the single arrowhead? This means this is one email, and if I click on that email or tap on it, it'll bring up that email. Right. Okay. This one with the double means there's more than one email in this thread, and the thread mm -hmm. is by subject, which we do talk about in our part three, getting control of your email, mm -hmm. um, training next week. So there were several in this series, okay. and now it's bringing them all up, and it's showing you know, the very first one, and the second one, and the third one, and so on. So it's showing all the replies, and then I can go in and look at the one that I want. Right. So in this case, if you have email threads turned on, mm -hmm. it's going to show you the threads as one right. in the search results. So the email you uh, are looking for might not be the one that shows up here, but right. if you tap on the thread, you'll right. be able to find it. That's the last one. This is right. the next and right. so on. We had quite a going back and forth on this one. Okay. So I think that's nice and then nice to notice. Right. Okay, so now you can also get quite advanced with your search. Right. So now we right now have found all these emails from Beverly. Right. But maybe we want to get more specific. Maybe right. we've got like a hundred emails from her and we, we exactly. don't want to sift through them. So exactly. what you can do is type to the right of her name and you can type um, something else. Something else to search, a search parameter, if you will. So I'm going to type in seminar. And, and hold off there. Now look, yeah, look what happened here. Look at the yep. subjects that have come up. Subjects or mailboxes. Right. So it will come up, it, it's going to be different all the time depending on what it finds. Right. And you could just say search if it isn't any of those. Like you want to get all the seminar, Beverly Zaney emails, let's say seminar. Right. Just hit search. Go ahead. <laughs> you, okay. you do I'm it. on this side and there they are. Now it's limited down to right. those two. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't have to be in the subject. Notice this subject doesn't have seminar in it, but in the body of this email it has seminar somewhere. Right. So, so you could just... Keep going and you could. get very specific. You could. You could come in here now and you could type in something else. Right. So you, well, have, you... <laughs> yeah, you have the ability to really narrow yourself down. Yeah. So I think the searching with iOS 9 on really got, uh, for emails, for the mail program, really became almost as good as it was on the Mac. Right. As advanced. Right. Very rich, very deep, yeah. and it really allows you to find... Right. Find your stuff easier, yeah. <laughs> which is very important, right? Good. All right. So that's our tech bit on advanced mail searching. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.